Jesus, you scared me. Sorry, I didn't mean to. How the hell did you get in? Oh, I have my ways. Look, lady, don't take this the wrong way, but you shouldn't sneak up on people like that. It could be bad for your health, if you know what I mean. Oh, this is good. The mobster pulls out his gun on the helpless damsel. He forced his body on what her. What the hell are you talking about? I didn't force nothing. I know. It's for the book. This is good stuff. Look, lady. I said you could follow me around a bit for research, but now you're making me out to be this hardened criminal. That's not how it works. Mobsters are supposed to be ruthless. They take what they want, when they want. First off, don't call me a mobster. I am in the sanitation business. Secondly, I don't force myself on any women. Well, you could. Lady, I have a girlfriend. As he eyed her breast, he confesses the love triangle that is inevitable. He tears her shirt with... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's it. You gotta go. His breath warms her neck, sending chills down her spine. Goosebumps begin to form around her. That's it. No more writing. My girlfriend is on her way over. You have to go. Lines are blurred as three bodies intertwine, forming a massive pile of flesh and ecstasy just before climax. You are nuts. Get the hell out of my apartment. Are you going to be forceful? <sighs> Do you have handcuffs or you want to use mine? I'm serious. Get out now. <laughs> <laughs>